things I love about collecting sneakers is I'm pretty sure we all have shoes in our collection that we find value in that simply nobody else does. I have three closets full of shoes and some of those sneakers people look at me like, why in the world did you buy those? Then I also have sneakers where everybody want and everybody glamour at because we all came to the common consensus that this shoe was fire. I believe I just bought one of the most hated Nike SB Dunks of 2022. Seriously, I'm not even clickbaiting. I honestly think that this was the most hated SB Dunk by far. But in my opinion, I simply thought this shoe was beautiful and from the moment I seen it, I said, I need this shoe. I'll actually post a post on Twitter when I said, literally, I need this shoe. And there was people in the comments saying, do you really need these shoes? Because they are not all that. Oh yeah, needless to say, they're here in the studio. All right, man, so I bought this sneaker from StockX and it took a while to get here, okay? I bought it. I believe right before Christmas, so you can imagine how long it took for it to get to me by it being a holiday, number one, and number two, by it being through StockX. We all know that StockX has a crazy long timetable majority of the times when you're buying sneakers because the seller got to send it to them. That takes time. Then they have to get it and get, the, get it processed to be authenticated. That takes time. And then finally it gets to you. So it's a long process, trust me. Wow, you already know what's up, man. This Nike SB Dunk box, man. This box right here is very, very, how can I say? It's not normal, okay? It's not normal whenever you have any SB in this box. This is pretty much when they try to pull off the bells and whistles. And whenever they use this box here, it's more likely because there's some heat in here. I'm just saying, all right, I'm just saying. Bye, y'all. Here we have the Nike SB Dunk Low eBay, AKA Sandy Bodecker. Man, look at this sneaker here, bro. Oh my God, I don't even know where to start. I simply don't know where to start when it comes to this. I'm gonna be honest, bro. Let's just start from the top. A little background on the sneaker, man. It's named after Sandy Bodecker, who actually won this auction for this sneaker when it originally released. eBay came out with a Nike SB back in August of 2003 and it actually sold for $30,000. You heard me correct, 30,000. Unfortunately, Sandy Bodecker passed away from cancer in 2018, so the sneaker was named after him in his commemorage. And if you're wondering what inspired this design to be like this, the original pair was actually cut up, cut in half, and that's why you get this cut, put back together type material or type look on the sneaker, which I, I actually like, I'm not gonna lie, I, I think these is hard. Now let's get into why I like the shoe, okay? Because I think I pretty much know why people hate it. People hate this sneaker because, I mean, let's be honest, it's not the prototypical Nike SB Dunk that you'll normally see. That's also why I think I love it, man. I was super upset when I wasn't able to hit on Nike sneakers because I thought I was gonna have to pay an arm and a leg for this shoe. You could not tell me that I was not gonna have to pay thousands or at least 800 to $750 for this dunk. And turns out I only had to pay 248 bucks plus shipping and taxes from StockX, which is completely insane after telling you guys that this same exact sneaker was sold in 2003 for $30,000 and a charity. And now it's being sold for $248. You can find these in local spots for 280 bucks, which should also further let y'all know that I'm not being a hype beast because if the hype was relevant on this sneaker, it would not be nearly sold for nowhere near as much money as $280, okay? We can find, Jordan brand is retailing at 250 nowadays, damn near, so it, this is not hyped at all. This is 100% preference and 100% my choice to pick these up. I believe it originally released December 17th for the retail price of $130, which I was all game for. I'm not even mad I had to pay the resale price. Sometimes you gotta pay, all right? That's just the day and age we in, you gotta pay to play. After seeing so many people attack this sneaker, man, I was actually pretty shocked. A lot of people were saying if that sneaker that Fat Joe has, which was the Rubik's Cube Air Jordan 1 sample that he showed on IG, I believe, they were saying if that shoe was ugly, then this should not even exist. Which I was pretty shocked by because I'm like, hey, 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 hold on now, hold on. It's like that ugly girl you defended? Hold on now, that's my woman, that's my woman. This is actually a cool shoe to me. I guess the only problem that I was thinking is, you know, the wear and tear of the sneaker because even though it's fire and I love the way it was made, I have no choice but to ask myself of how wearable is this sneaker because it is literally cut in half. It's cut to pieces. This sneaker is completely cut to pieces and the sneaker is sewed back together with this transparent, clear type texture in the middle of three, uh, four sides. You get the back heel, the side panel, you kind of get like around here at the top and then at the end of it, you get the toe box, which is completely separated on four different ends and then you just got it stitched together. 
Sunday. Fortunately enough for me, I have a lot of sneakers, so it's not like I'm gonna be rocking these every single day, I'm gonna be beating them down. I'm probably gonna get a decent amount of wear out of them, but it's still a question. Like, how often can I wear these? The colorway alone was fire, okay? I think if the sneaker didn't have these cuts in them, if it didn't decide to go with the theme of, you know, them actually cutting this sneaker, I would still buy it. If there was no translucent separation on this shoe and it just had the eBay colorway, I would still buy it because I think the colorway is fire. This sneaker pretty much contains every primary color from yellow, blue, green, red, we get some white, and then they even continue that on the outer sole when you look at the shoe. This kind of remind me of the Air Force Ones back in the day that used to be see-through. I mean, I was like in middle school when them joints came out. That's back when Soldier Boy was cranking that and we was wearing shirts that was like five times too big for us, but still, still, I admire these shoes. And just like those, you have to be careful when you rock your sneakers like this because your socks is way more important, okay? For y'all nasty dudes, hold on, let me move these out the way, bro. For my nasty guys out there that be wearing Jordan or wearing whatever shoes you wearing with no socks, you need to stop, all right? Yeah, you, you need to stop. This sneaker pretty much prevents you from not wearing no socks, and it's important what socks you do wear depending on the outfit because the translucent sneaker also allows a little insight and you can make or break the outfit or break the sneakers by what socks you choose to wear, but you know what I'm saying? That's not enough pressure for me to not want to pick these up. Now, some of y'all gonna call me crazy, some of y'all gonna call me quirky, some of y'all gonna call me weird, but this almost made my top 10 list, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't gonna say that out loud, but it, it, it's true, it's true, because I really like these, though, I really do. 2022 had a lot of sneakers but not too many sneakers caught me by the eye whether you like these or whether you don't like them at all you can't tell me if somebody is walking down the street walking past you in the mall or just in your vicinity you're not going to want to look down and check these out they are showstoppers they are attention seeking they are there it's a good shoe without a doubt i think it's a steal man 128 dollars for a pair like this bro i would have bought it twice if i had to pay 500 dollars Believe it or not, I would have paid the 500. I'm just, I'm just down for the cause, man. I like the shoe. It also comes with a few things on the sneaker as well. You get the Sandy Bodecker picture on the insoles. It also says Nike Forever right here on the tag. Let me see if y'all can see that. Let me see, see that? Yep, Nike SB Forever. That's pretty cool. And then, like I said, right here on uh, the insoles, it's a picture of Sandy Bodecker as well. I just suck at taking out my insoles, bro. I'm putting them back in. They always uncomfortable after I take them out. So I just, I didn't want to show that. I just put up a picture on the screen for you guys to see a better visual because I'm not taking these out. It's always a struggle for me to put them back in. On one end, you get the sneaker when it was actually cut up. It kind of look exactly like what they put together, which I think is pretty cool. And then on the other insole, you will get Sandy Bodecker. Without a doubt, in my opinion, this is the most hated Nike SB of the year. I've literally seen chains of replies on Twitter of people doing nothing but absolutely trashing this shoe, but I'ma stand tall and I'ma double down, man. This sneaker is fire, and while the resale price is low, you need to go and get you a pair if you're interested, man. Don't listen, don't care about what other people say. If you like them, you wear them. That's my motto. I got a lot of shoes that people would not dare to pick up. I'ma rock them. I also got a lot of shoes that people admire and they won't. That's how the game go. But be an individual. Don't be a group thinker, man. Buy what you like at the end of the day. It's your bread. You make it, man. You do what you please. Let me know down below in the comments, man, y'all thoughts and opinions on the Nike SB Dunk Low Sandy Bodecker. Is it a pass? Is it a cop? And last but not least, man, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I will see y'all in the next one. It is your boy, Schnapper Jones. You know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous, but really putting in that work, though. Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.